Welcome to another Math and Man episode where today we will be studying the special right triangle called the 45-45-90. If you have a 45-45-90 and you're given one length, then you can find the other two by this special relationship. Let's say the one across 45 is A, then it's an isosceles triangle because these angles are the same, meaning the two legs are going to be the same, so the other one's also going to be A, and the one across 90 degrees can be found by doing a times the square root of 2. Let's go apply this relationship to our first problem. First problem, solve for x and y. I'm given that this is 45 degrees, this is 90, which makes this 45 degrees as well because all the interior angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So now I got that 45, 45, 90 triangle and I look at the legs. The one across 45 is 8 meaning the one across the other 45 degree measurement has to be 8 as well because of this relationship. The one across the 90 degree angle is going to be whatever this leg is, 8 times the square root of 2. 8 times the square root of 2 is about 11.3. So my answer for y is 11.3 or 8 root 2 and x is 8. That one's pretty easy. Let's go try a different scenario. Let's try out the second problem where the hypotenuse is given to us. It's given to us as 12. This is 45. I know that the other angle measurement is 45 degrees as well because they have to add up to 180 inside a triangle. 45, 45 plus 90 is 180. This is X. I know the other leg across the other 45 degree angle is X and looking at this reference cheat sheet right here, the one across 90 degrees is going to be given as x root 2. So now I have two labels for my hypotenuse. I have it as 12 and I have it as x root 2. I can use that to set up an equation to solve for x and once I have x I know what this leg will be and I know what this one will be too because they're just equal to each other. So to do that we can just set up this equation x square root of 2 equal to 12. They have the same label right there. To solve for x, just divide by square root of 2 on both sides. These cancel off. You get x equals 12 root 2. That's an improper form. So to get rid of that radical at the bottom, just multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 2. That's going to knock off that square root. 12 times the square root of 2 is just that, and then the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is just 2. To simplify that further, you can take 12 divided by 2, which is 6, and then square root of 2. x equals 6 root 2. So now I know this length, 6 square root of 2, and that's just equivalent to the other length, the one across the other 45. 6 square root of 2. If you want a decimal answer, it's 8.49. In this last example, we're given a length with a radical on it, but it's not much different from what we've been doing. I'm also going to show you how to check your answer for this question right here. So let's start. The one across 45 is 5 square root of 2, meaning that the one across the other 45 degree measurement is going to be equivalent to that 5 square root of 2. Looking at this relationship once again, m is just whatever the leg is times square root of 2. So we can take that and substitute whatever the leg is times another square root of 2. If I were to multiply that out, the square roots cancel each other out. So this just turns into 5 times 2, which is 10. So if you're doubting that that's right, we can check our answer by using the Pythagorean theorem. 5 square root of 2 squared plus another 5 square root of 2 squared equals my hypotenuse, 10 squared. Well, this equals 50. Use your calculator. This is another 50, and that's just 100. 50 plus 50 is 100 equals 100 so that checks out and that ladies and gentlemen is how you check your answer 
you want to know about the 30 60 90 triangle another special right triangle click on this video here thank you for your support throw me a thumbs up if this helped you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you on the next episode peace